similarities built into the Office 2013 apps, you can use your knowledge in one to get up to speed in another. In this lesson, you learn to identify basic components of the user interface, display and use backstage view, and adjust the zoom level. Let's get started. In Step 1, I'll go to the Windows 8 Start screen. I'll type POW. I'll click PowerPoint 2013. Then, when the program starts, I'll click Blank Presentation. This window looks similar to Word because all the Office apps share a common user interface. User interface is a collective term for the way commands and features are organized on the screen. This large area is the document window. And since we're in PowerPoint, a blank slide appears here, ready for us to start building a presentation. Up at the top of every program window, the title bar displays the document name and the app name. Over on the left is the Quick Access Toolbar, which includes buttons for common commands, such as saving a document or undoing a recent change you've made. The area below the title bar is called the Ribbon. It contains all the commands you're likely to need for the current task. The commands are organized onto tabs, and the Active tab appears in front. Right now, the Home tab is active. This tab features the most popular commands for the current program. Each tab contains groups of related commands. You'll also notice that many groups contain a dialog box launcher. If you click the icon, a dialog box or task pane opens with additional commands related to the current group. In Step 2, I'll click the File tab. While each Office program has its own unique set of commands and tabs, all of them include this tab. It gives you access to Backstage View. It's called Backstage View because the commands available here are for working with files behind the scenes, like saving a file, opening a file, and closing a file. In Step 3, I'll click the Back button, and we return to the Document window. Then I'll click the Design tab. Some groups include a gallery, which is a visual collection of choices you can browse. In this case, there are design themes for your presentation. In Step 4, I'll point to the Ion theme. The theme is temporarily applied to the slide, even though I haven't clicked it. This feature is called Live Preview, and it lets you quickly see an option without committing to it. So I can preview as many choices as I like just by pointing. In Step 5, I'll point away from the ribbon toward the slide without clicking a different theme, so it remains unchanged. At the bottom of each program's window, you'll find the status bar. In Step 6, I'll go over to the right, I'll point to the zoom slider, and then I'll drag it to the right until the zoom level over here reads 166%. Zooming in makes a document appear bigger, which is great for looking at details, but less of it fits on the screen at once. In Step 7, I'll click the Zoom Out button until the zoom level reads 120%. To try these steps yourself and to see some additional tips, and to learn more about using Backstage View, turn to page Office 6 in your book.